love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace are prints thereof. Uh, welcome to the channel where there, uh, where it's obvious that everyone has their own gospel. Everyone has been inspired. Everyone is loved equally. Everyone has equality before the Lord, whose love goes before us always, and his everlasting love settles absolutely all arguments as his kingdom age new covenant proves because it has been given in accordance with the word of God for these latter days. So beloved welcome and I uh, hope you can receive this uh, word of edifying love that exalts uh, the master and fans the flame of love within for all of us if we'll, we will just heed that small gentle voice of obedience. So it's time to arise in, in, in love for a new day is dawning and is already even upon us. And uh, so Jesus so loved his beloved brethren that he desired that he would develop the spiritual eyes to see that uh, blessed are they who value any pleasant words that praises love. Know then that such worship of, of God Almighty through Christ easily helps everyone to become less critical as a right spirit is renewed within them so they can finally see the type of miraculous light where no darkness could possibly hide. But most accursed are they who knowingly debase any offerings of praise unto love unto Elohim, our holy trinity of one God, who shall evermore be indivisible yet separate just as water, ice, and steam all remain the same element and differ not fundamentally. And only by understanding their everlasting unity as, as the gospel of the dove spells out line by line and precept upon precept, may any believer see the full picture of God's eternal light of lights so they can have faith in our Godhead's greatest illumination of love over their hearts, just as they likewise believe in the risen sun. We can have full faith in his love for his light is always on for us because his love transcends everything that we have ever imagined, absolutely all imaginations, people. And um, so realize as well uh, in, these, in these times that not only uh, because people can see it shining, his risen sun of love, but because they can also have faith to see everything else clearly by the radiance of his mind-blowing Shekinah glory. Realize as well that, uh, that as many people's bravery is turned inside out, the lukewarm believer eventually destined to be spewed out of the Almighty's mouth, metaphorically, because he's never spit nobody out of his mouth and unless they're really, really cold and their, their uh, love light has really, really gone totally out. And that is the revealed word of God for the season, people. So uh, as all of uh, this happens, um, the luke, lukewarm uh, believer in the extreme who, who commits uh, blaspheme of the Holy Spirit, the unforgivable sin of letting their love light go out, they would eventually enter the oblivion of outer darkness uh, with the knowledge that they were far too cowardly to press into uh, works uh, praising love's name because he needs to be uh, lifted up high for all to bow down to. For the, the one world religion is the faith of the risen Lamb of God from uh, the Word of God, John 10, 16. And he arises in this hour as the good shepherd over all people. And uh, so praise praise the Lord because uh, uh, he is mighty to save and his arms have not been too short to save. <laughs> 